The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, Jesus went out to the, of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parable, saying, A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell on the path. And the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on ground, rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it, it was scourged, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Kung sino man ang may tenga, makinig. Kung wala kang tenga, may dahilan kang hindi marinig. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, many times I have said this, that God has been talking to everyone, but not everyone is listening. The gospel reminds us to listen. In whatever situation, in whatever status, regardless of the age, wherever you are, God is talking to you. Even like in the first reading, even in moments you grumble and complain before God, God is talking to you. Kaya nga paulit-ulit yan, joys are the whispers of God. Pains are the shouts of God. Palaging nagsasalita ang Diyos. Kaya lang, hindi naman tayo nakikinig. O marami sa atin ang hindi nakikinig. Kung nakikinig man, pinipili lang ang pakikinggan. Namimili na salita. Yung gusto lang marinig. Magandang pagtuunan ng pansin ito. Sapagkat, Kung ang pinapakinggan mo lamang ngayon, gusto mong marinig, wala kang matututunan. Somebody have said this, if you only pick words from the scriptures you like, then you don't really believe in the word of God. What you believe is yourself. Kung ang pinipili mo lang, katulad ng iba na kung saan kumukuha ng mga Bible passages, Sinosoli yung ayaw nila. Well, hindi sila nakikinig sa Diyos. Nakikinig sila sa sarili lang nila. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, God has been dealing with us according to our riches and according to our poverty. God is meeting us where we are. Sadyang ganun, kung matigang ang puso mo, matigas ang puso mo, matinik ang puso mo, God is dealing with us according to our personality, according to our stubbornness. Kahit naman yung mga nasa ma maayos na lupa, even in the rich soil, not all of them produces a hundred percent. Some are 60, some are 30. Kahit ikaw ay punong-puno ng biyaya, kung hindi ka tumutugon sa panawagan ng Diyos, hanggang ganun ka lang talaga. 
Kaya nga, hindi mo masisisi, hindi mo masisisi yung ibang tao. Ha? Sabi nga nila, kung ang, kung ang pagpapala na binigay sa ina Diyos, binigay doon sa walang wala, baka sila ay matagal ng matagumpay. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, <clears throat> suriin natin ang ating mga kalooban. Ano ang iyong mga nirereklamo sa buhay? Ano ang iyong nirereklamo sa buhay? Many have been, many have failed to be blessed. Not because they do not have ears, but they open their mouths more often. Mas malakas ang kanilang pagbuka ng bibig kaysa pagiging pakikinig sa Diyos. Kung gusto nating marinig ng Diyos, kung gusto nating maintindihan ng Diyos, kung gusto nating malaman ng kalooban ng Diyos, minsan itikom natin ang ating mga bibig. Itikom natin. Let us hold our speech so that we can listen. Kahit kailan hindi mo pwedeng marinig ang mga bagay na dapat mong marinig kung sumasabay ka sa pagsasalita. Sabi nga ng isang yumaong guro sa amin sa seminaryo, sabi niya, Well, I only talk to people who listen. I only talk to people who listen. I don't waste my words to someone who don't listen. Mabuti na lang ang Diyos paminsan-minsan. Kahit alam niyang hindi ka nakikinig, nagsasalita ang Diyos sa iyo. Baka sakali, baka sakali makarinig ka. But this will not be forever, my brothers and sisters. Hindi habang panahon na magsasalita ang Diyos sa mga taong hindi nakikinig. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, sometimes when we talk about listening, you don't simply wait for the words to be spoken. Sometimes you have to ask the question. Hindi palaging pag pinag-usapan ay pakikinig, nagaantay ka lang nang may magsasalita. Pagkamisan, kailangan mo ring itanong. Why I'm saying this? Halimbawa, kahapon, ko napanood nyo sa news, yung ang tagal-tagal daw nilang nakapila para sa vaccination. Hindi nila alam na migay na pala ng number. Ano po? Tayo mga Pilipino, pagkamisan, ang dami nating sinisisi. Nakapilang ganyan. Hindi ka man lang nagtatanong kung yung pilang yan, dyan ba sa bayaran? Tapos basta pumila ka. Nung malapit ka na, pila pala papunta sa CR. No? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, ang pakikinig ay mayroong responsibilidad na minsan magtanong. Mahalaga yon Hindi lang yung ikaw ay nagaantay. Hindi lang yung ikaw ay sabi nga nakanganga. At higit sa lahat, hindi yung reklamo ka lang ng reklamo. Do not forget this. The secret of a happy life is a grateful spirit. Not all happy people are grateful people, but all grateful people are happy people. The worst is you grumble. As if you are entitled to what you want or what you need. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.